excited to show you guys the finished printed version of the Thor Ragnarok helmet that you saw in the most recent trailer. This thing absolutely blew me away and immediately I knew I had to have this. I had to print it. I needed this in my collection and I wanted to start it right now. Thankfully the folks over at Do3D, I contacted them and we've been chatting lately about doing a project together and funny enough they had already been prepping this file as soon as the trailer dropped and immediately sent it over to me to show you guys here. So so if you're interested in printing one for yourself, you can check out the links down below or head over to do3d.com where you can pick up this file along with a ton of other amazing projects that you can print and work with that you can purchase from them. By the way, they also have the ability to, if you have custom things that you would like to have projects, not necessarily even cosplay related, they have their CAD services available to you as well. So it's amazing, amazing guys over there. I'm very happy that they were able to share this with me here and so I can actually show it to you guys today. So friggin' excited about this. But let's take a look at the helmet. As you can see here, the ears at the moment are movable. I have to, they're not joined together. I need to further do some sanding on this as well, uh, but it allows me to turn these and twist them here to, as the position I need. They can actually also pop on and off if need be. I printed the helmet almost in one piece. I cut off the actual top layer just so I could print it top down so I didn't need to use so many supports printing it this way, and it gave me a really nice steady base to print with versus if I printed it like this, there's not a lot of flat section here for the print to start with. I might try that the second time around here and see if I can print this just all in one piece. This took, I think it was over 37 hours for the helmet itself. The ears uh, were printed in two separate pieces in order to fit on my BQ Wit box. I had to slice them in the side here, and I might end up printing these again as well. Funny enough, my $500 3D printer that printed the main helmet, the quality of this came out so much better than my BQ Wit box. I think there's just some settings that have just come undone maybe recently on my BQ Wit box, or maybe I need a new hot end altogether. All right, that's enough of me talking. Let's actually try it on so I can show you guys what it looks like. Pretty badass, right? So here it is with the ears pulled back. I printed this helmet at 110% of the original size because that is what would fit my head and allow me with enough room and padding in here that it wasn't completely snug. I wanted to make sure I could easily take this on and off, add some padding here for comfort, and just make it very easy to pull on and off. I'll post another follow-up video here showing the method that I use to rescale this to fit my head without having a 3D scan of my own head. Also include things like how I sliced this as well for the ears and for the top of the head. So if you're interested in printing your own, you can see how I chose to print mine. All right, now let's flip the ears down so I can show you what it looks like there. And again, they're not connected. More than likely what I'll end up doing is either putting magnets in place or running some sort of a strip on the inside, drilling a hole that I can connect the ears and run a strip on the inside brim of the helmet that can basically connect the two. So if I move one, it'll move the other. This will be something that I'll be working on on the upcoming weeks as I work on finishing the actual helmet. So here I'm gonna just twist and slide these down and they don't lock into place or anything like that you just at the moment I adjust them to the position that I'm interested in displaying them at so again here I'll just twist it down on the other side looks about even <laughs> thing is awesome it's absolutely awesome and there we go ah! I should also mention that the helmet was printed in purple hatchbox PLA as well as red hatchbox PLA 
Also, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to say thank you to my Patreon members. If you're interested in helping support the channel, you can check out a link down below to where you can participate in my Patreon and help fund the projects like this here that I'm gonna be continuing to work on. Over the upcoming weeks, I will be working on finishing this helmet and getting it all cleaned up and painted and mechanically in place so that I can function the ear so that one moves the other at the same time. I am so excited about Thor Ragnarok and that trailer just absolutely blew me away. So again, thanks again for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also make sure to head on over to do3d.com. They're the ones that provided this file. If you're interested in printing your own, you can contact them there. I'll include links down below in the description as well. And again, they produce a ton of amazing cosplay printable props that you can go in off and, and print yourself. Also, again, they have other services available. So if you needed something that wasn't cosplay related or there was something that maybe they don't have, they can actually be commissioned to create that for you. So again, thanks again for watching you guys and I will see you next time. Yes! <laughs> we know each other from work. This is a brain and this is a brain and this is a brain and these are all brains. Well, actually this is more like a keg so I don't really think I have the smarts that Thor did. Damn you Chris Hemsworth.